Okay. Hi, uh, this is Nick Houston from Gotham Sound and Communications. Uh, today, we are talking with some people across the pond about the Cantar X3 and the new um, the new features in version 3. Uh, we've got uh, Pascal and, uh, and Pierre. Hello, Pascal. Hello, everybody. And Pierre. Nice to hello. be with you. Hello, hello. So welcome. Thanks for being here. You guys are over in France, and I want to just uh, make note that it is, what, six hours later over there? Six hours, yeah, ahead of you, I guess. So it's nine o'clock, like uh, almost uh, a quarter past nine. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for thanks for staying up so late and, uh, and being here no with problem. us. And um, I should ask, how are things over? You are in Grenoble. How are things over in Grenoble? Um, I guess like everywhere else, pretty much. I mean, everything uh, is stopped. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's quite difficult uh, to have uh, you know to know what's going to happen. I mean, mm -hmm. all production are stopped in France. So uh, as far as Aton is concerned, um, we were I guess locked down. I mean, you know, containment by the uh, French government rules. So. Uh, and the lockdown stopped on Monday. Uh, so we, we now are allowed to go back to the office. Um, so, so we do, but uh, it's, it's starting slowly. I mean, uh, one of the issues is also subcontractors, you know, things are coming in, but uh, you don't know when they get in. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to, to schedule things, but, uh, but I think... Uh, in the uh, next few weeks, it's going to be better. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. You know, there's, e there's even talk of new lockdown. I mean, uh, you know, if, if the uh, viruses or the pandemic goes up again, then we might go into being contained at home again. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and has everybody from the uh, Aton team been able to, to stay healthy and, uh, and whatnot? I guess, yeah, yeah. I mean, from... Yeah, I would say yes. But it's, it's, it's fine. Great. Okay. Well, that's that is at least a piece of good news. So, um, mm -hmm. anyway, it's nice to see you both. And I know that um, today you wanted to uh, to take a look through um, the the new X3 firmware, which is uh, version three, and kind of show us some of the details of that. Is there anything else you wanted to um, say before we no, dove into that? No, I think that's pretty much what we want to 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 show. You know, concentrate on 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 one thing. Uh, I know that Pascal has uh, Pascal will will be uh, uh, showing uh, on a more technical uh, aspect of the uh, of the V uh, three version. So he has prepared some slides, and and I guess we're going to go through that and then uh, answer questions after that. So you know, um, yeah. I, We'll we'll stick to that for for now and 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 answer a question. But maybe let's start with the uh, Pascal's presentation. Sounds great. If you are um, if you're watching on Facebook and you have a question, please feel free to leave it in the comments, and I will uh, I will relay it to our uh, French compatriots and uh, and get get answers. So Pascal, do you want to start your your screen share and your presentation? Yes. Okay. No problem. I start. Okay. S <clears throat> So, uh, um, as an uh, introduction, so the, the idea of the presentation is to, uh, to be concentrated on of the new things uh, available in version 3, I suppose. Uh, so, I, I, will, I, won't, uh, I will not repeat uh, all the capacity and all the details about the, the X3, and uh, uh, it's not a complete overview of the equipment, but just... Uh, the, the specific point introduced by, by the version 3, which is a, but the version 3 is a big step in, in the, in the, in the version. It's a big step. It's not a, a small, small improvement. So let's start with some slide to, to go more in details. <coughs> uh, so one uh, first uh, feature um, that uh, will be introduced in the, in the version three, uh, concerned the, the digital input. 
So you, you have on the slide the analog input with the A to D conversion. You know that uh, in, in the Kanta X3, you have uh, also digital in inputs. So eight uh, AS3 to AS42 on the 32 Dante. So on A30, uh, on the AS32, you have a power on off. So you, it, it can be used as AS42, but it can also be used uh, like a four extra AS3 channel. Uh, in the, today in the digital input, you have also delay that uh, allows you to sync uh, your, to, to compensate the delay of the, transmitter for example for the mic you have after <coughs> after the delay you have a, an eq uh, block and uh, of course you can send all these uh, all, all these inputs analog inputs uh, uh, digital inputs uh, as42 or dante to the tracks this is the actual the actual situation of the digital inputs in be, before the the version 3 so now with the version three, <coughs> uh, you, we introduce a new gain uh, blocks uh, on the digital input. So you can manage the gain of the digital inputs before the record on the track. And we also introduce a limiter uh, on the digital channel Exactly the, the same. The, the idea is to, to introduce a limiter as close as possible, uh, as the, uh, like the limiter you already have on analog input. And the, the people like the, the analog limit, the counter analog limiter. So we duplicate the behavior of the analog limiter on, in the digital, uh, uh, on the digital inputs. So these two things, the gain and the limiter, are new in version three. The delay uh, uh, has been extended to cover the Dante inputs. So now you can completely resync your input in terms of Dante analog on ES. And uh, for the Dante also, the EQ block, the gain block, and the on the the limiter is also. Uh, available but these three things are uh, uh, available if you uh, if you purchase the don't plus oh, option so, so the gray is uh, the gray box here is the don't plus option so if you take the option you will have this block so um i will switch to the contact screen so this is uh, this is uh, the screen of uh, my counter right now, and uh, uh, I can show you uh, uh, a digital input. So the um, is it dark? Uh, maybe I can try to put more lights. No, it, it's. I believe it's fine, Pascal. Mm -hmm. it's fine? Yeah, yeah, okay. I see it. Okay. So uh, if I open uh, to uh, to show you, if I open a solo on of AES, uh, you will uh, you will see that um, on the screen now I have a, a limiter access, and you have you have a limiter, and also you have the gain, and you see that uh, uh, this uh, this digital gain I can uh, manage my digital gain. And uh, the the gain and the the, the in the uh, right now the maximum gain I have on the IS one is limited to zero dB, but uh, this is written here. But I can change that, and uh, I can select the maximum gain I want on each digital input. This uh, I can adjust the maximum gain on each digital inputs individually. So now the maximum gain I have on my uh, digital inputs is uh, 33, and I can decide that uh, input by inputs. So let's go back to the. It's 
just to show the, the and uh, as uh, I told you, I also have the same. No, not on that. So I have no Dante right now, but uh, I have exactly the same on the Dante input if I have uh, the Dante options. So uh, let's let's go on the next point, the tracks. So uh, uh, in the previous version, in the version two, so you have all your inputs, analog or digital, that can be recorded on tracks, and the uh, tracks go, are going on uh, four up to four media. Uh, after that, I have a, a, a gain, which is my mix, and uh, on each track I can uh, uh, have a gain to create a mix. So each uh, track, track one, two, three, be, uh, are, are uh, create a new uh, new channel P1, P2, the, and they are mixed together in the mix down. And this mix down, of course, can be a record on uh, on the tracks. So this is the actual situation of the version two. And uh, what is new in the version three? So we add a new uh, a new blocks of equalization. This blocks is introduced after the after the record of the ISO tracks and the before the mix. So I can decide to use equalization only for only for my uh, my mix down. And another thing which is which has been introduced. In version three, is the limiter on the mixdown. Sometimes, if you have a several channel with a very high level, and when you mix together, you can uh, uh, go. To the The result of your mix channel can be too high, and now a limiter, like limi the limiter you know in uh, analog uh, uh, in analog inputs, is introduced on on your mix. So you are sure that even if you have several signals with a high level mixed together, you have no clip. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for for that, um, I can just let's uh, switch back to the to the counter screen. So you you see here on on my screen. I know I don't know it's. You, you see the small triangle here. This is my mix down track one and two. They are on the right side of the screen, and you see the small tri triangle. And uh, this is the limiter of the mix down mix down tracks. And the the limiter of the mix down tracks uh, can be set here. I have an access where I can uh, switch on off the the limiter of the mix down tracks. I have, uh, in fact, I have four. Four, four limiter, but uh, I will I will uh, speak speak about that uh, later. I will explain that later. Mm -hmm. That's all for the tracks. Let's go back to the to the slides. Uh, I have to. Sorry, I have to. I guess while you're um, while you're working on that, there are a couple of questions that um, I'll throw out to you that seem to be uh, pertinent. Um, so uh, Chris asked if there's sample rate conversion on each AES input. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Chris also asked if there were output limiters, uh, or is it just done through the through the mix track? Uh, this is just to the mix track, but uh, 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 on no, no, just on the mix track. In fact, mm -hmm. we can go on the next point. Yep, the next ready to feature. go. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next one is the uh, uh, the equalization. Mm -hmm. So we are we today. Uh, uh, this is the situation uh, you we have today on the version two. We have uh, EQ available on uh, analog uh, on the AES input, mm -hmm. and uh, now we have, I, as I told you in the track slide, we introduce a new block of EQ, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. between the track and the mix down. And you can have both at the same time. So you can have EQ before recording your ISO, or you can have after recording, or you can have on both sides. Mm. Okay. So it's, uh, it's completely flexible. You can have one side, the other side. And, uh, so it, it's exactly, uh, I, I will show you how it, it works, uh, on the contour screen. So, uh, the, the, the first thing. So, uh, you, you have in that screen, I can design only to activate EQ on inputs or only to activate EQ on post or uh, uh, to have EQ on both sides. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for, for the input, we find back the, the EQ like you already know in the version two. So you have your EQ block on the inputs. Mm -hmm. And now if I open a track, you see I have also exactly the same IQ block on tracks, but uh, uh, as I, I, uh, I as I show you in the slide, this, this EQ won't affect your ISO, but it will be only applied before your mix down. Mm -hmm. This is for the EQ. So um, let's go to the next. Uh, just a few seconds for me to switch to the the next feature. So the next one is a is a brand new uh, a brand new feature. Um, this is an option. So this 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 uh, this particular feature, this auxiliary option, uh, it's into an option. It's not in the basic V3 version for everybody. Um, so what what is uh, today? We find uh, in the slide we find back all our inputs: analog, digital, Dante, the gain, the the EQ, and so we add a complete set of uh, of uh, sub channel S1 to S24 that creates two new auxiliary new new auxiliary uh, buses with uh, their limiters. So they also have limiters. And these two auxiliary can be record on track, or they can also be sent to output. It means it means uh, if I explain another way, it means that uh, today in the counter you have two mix down, and uh, with the, this option you have four mix the, the two regular mix down on two extra auxiliary, and uh, so you can put any of the inputs. Send them to the to a sub uh, a sub channel, and uh, mix together to create auxiliary channel. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's like you have on a mixing table, regular mixing table. So you can make a you can make a mix minus or a completely separate exactly. mix, however you need. Exactly, exactly, and you can uh, of course uh, in the in the drawing in the slide I send that to the to the track, but you can also send. Uh, the auxiliary or even the si the single uh, sub sub mix mm -hmm. you can send to the outputs so you can create all the 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 flavor of our outputs you want mm -hmm. so so you can also all of uh, like faders rotary knob either on the counter s counter end, you can assign them to the s1 s2 s3 s4 to create your your uh, mix buses so how it works and, uh, on the contact screen. So you have uh, here, this is uh, the, the inputs you, you already know, the regular grid with the 24 tracks. And uh, I have my mix down on X1, X2, two, two mics and two digital inputs. If I press F1 again, I have a second grid that that this is the grid dedicated for the auxiliary auxiliary channel. So I can, for example, I can decide to send the uh, mic one and uh, take uh, mic two, and uh, I can send to uh, auxiliary auxiliary one and two. So 
so auxiliary one, both are sent to auxiliary one. And uh, if I go back on my uh, main screen, so I, I can also assign a slider to, to my subgroup. So now I have, uh, for example, I have here a, a slider that uh, takes the mic one, create a new level, which is sent to the auxiliary one. So it's, it's exactly, uh, which is completely independent from the, my original set uh, of my mic one, which is sent to the track one. So I can have two flavor of the same input with two different levels. So let's go to the, to the next one. Uh, sorry for the delay between the switch of the screens. Sure. <laughs> so no the new the new feature are uh, we also improve the way we manage the link in the version three. So uh, on uh, on version two we have only link available uh, uh, on uh, analog input. It was possible to link a mic uh, to have a master mic, a master gain that controls the uh, uh, slave uh, slave mic and you have the same on analog inputs. Uh, now on, on the V3, uh, it has been extended to the all digital inputs. So you can uh, design that uh, AS, the, the gain of AS1 is automatically applied to uh, DG, uh, AS2, AS3, etc. So you have exactly the same, the same way you manage your master and slave uh, level in the analog, you have that also available in digital, in ACE42 and in Dante. Uh, uh, for the Dante, it's part of the Dante Plus option. So if you purchase the Dante Plus, you, you also have or, or the link is part of the Dante Plus option. And we also introduced that for the track. So now uh, you are able to manage several uh, uh, post fade level uh, with a single slider. So you can decide that uh, four tracks, four post fade level are managed with a, a single slider. So uh, let's switch to the counter screen to see how it works. And now it's uh, so uh, I open with F4. I open the uh, sorry, <laughs> I made a mistake. The link is F5. I so I you see here I have the the the, the new link uh, setup panel so I can uh, design the mic input and the uh, so mic 5 in this in this uh, in this situation uh, I can control the gain of my 6 7 and now I have exactly the same for uh, digital inputs so if I change so I3 and it can control, uh, I can have, a, have one gain applied to the IS1 and that so this gain is also applied to IS2, 3 or whatever you want. And this is the same for the track. So next one. So next one, one second. Uh, so this one, the link is, is part of the free version, right? Yes, Pierre. This is part of the. This this one is part of the of the free version. So it sounds and like you guys. Have, uh, oh, go, go right ahead. Keep going. Sorry, the last but not the least. <laughs> so uh, in this uh, version three, we introduce our for the first time in. Uh, in uh, in the uh, Atom product, in the Atom audio product, we uh, introduce Atom Mix. Atom Mix is a, a not a mix uh, a system that some other uh, uh, competitors already have some uh, auto mix system in their equipment, but uh, this is the first time for for our equipment. So uh, how it works uh, on a counter? 
So we find back our uh, all the inputs of the counter. They go to the tracks. Now you know the story. We have the gain for the post. So you find back the gain for the P1 to P24 for the mix down. So that what what you are using already on the version two. Uh, we have here the the same for the auxiliary. I, I explained just uh, just before, and uh, so the Atom introduce uh, four on, uh, independent, completely uh, independent audio mixing engine. So you can use, you can make, you can create up to four groups to auto mix your your uh, your track. And uh, uh, in in the in the slide, you see one and two going on only are dedicated to to the to the tracks. But this is not the case. You can use the four blocks on one side or the other side. They are one and two are not dedicated to the tracks and three and four to the auxiliary. You can use one, two, three, four to the track to, for to, for mixing your tracks. <clears throat> so I will switch back to the to the counter screen how it works and how we can set up all that uh, in our counter. So this is the purpose you see at the at the bottom of the screen. This these small blue numbers, and uh, so pressing uh, F6 button, I can design. For I will go back to a, a clean situation, a clear situation. And I I want to um, unfortunately point out that there's something a little bit wonky about the screen sharing right here. So that is is right off the edge of the screen share. So we actually cannot see that. Um, but ah, I do, sorry. But no, I mean I, I don't uh, think it's it's not you. It's me. Um, but I uh, just to describe it, it is. Is it possible if I do that? Is it better? No. Nope. It doesn't um, change anything. No, unfortunately not. Um, because it's right. It's something about the screen capture on our side that is cutting it off at the bottom. Um, but I, I will just say that it's uh, okay, so it's right it, below it the green and red. Okay. Uh, 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 so at the you see the green and red. So there is a, an extra line behind the green and red with a small number one, two, three, four, which matches with the uh, auto mixing engine. So, for example. With this system, if you have uh, four mics groups on the on a one table, and you have uh, three other mics groups on another table, you can create a dedicating engine, uh, auto mixing engine for the first four mics on table one, and uh, create use a mixing engine number two on the on, for the three people on the other table, and you have up to uh, four uh, auto mix engine in the system. Uh, maybe I can try with the level here. So I will, uh, I will activate for my, uh, four mics here. So I will put, uh, mix engine. I've, I will put the four mics on the uh, auto mix engine. And now I, uh, I don't know if you see, I will, I will increase a little bit the level here, the gain. I don't know if it's possible to see on the screen, but uh, the mic one is the highest level, and you see that uh, the two other mics have a lower level, and you see maybe a grayed area at the top of the view meter. This is the 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 attenuation introduced by the Atomix uh, Atomix engine. Uh, you have to notice that the the Atomix Aton Atomix engine do not uh, uh, Put extra gain. It's only an attenuation. So uh, the 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 position, the 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 basic position to make it works is to open your post fade slider. Okay. So let's try. So it's okay now. You see the blue numbers be, be, uh, below oh. the center. Uh, 
Okay, so this is these small numbers correspond to the automatic engine. So uh, uh, in, in this situation, I put my four mics on the. Uh, uh, I declared my four tracks. Sorry, uh, track three, four, five, and six to be uh, introduced in automatic engine one. This automatic engine can be enabled or disabled. So when I want, I can enable or disable it. So as soon as it is enabled, I will show you. You see the 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 gray the 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 the, the gain is grayed here. It means that uh, my uh, tracks uh, five and six have their gain lower in the mix down automatically. After it's Okay. <laughs> and uh I think uh, it's uh, I I will just show uh, a resume of uh, what I've been decree uh, described here. So uh so to, to uh, in the new feature release, you have a limiter on a new maximum gain structure on both I3 and I42 inputs. You have a post fader equalization on track. You have a digital inputs on track can be linked. You have a digital limiter on the, available on mixed down tracks, and all these uh, new features are included in the v3 for everybody without extra and uh, on another side we introduce uh, three options the down plus all the features co co corresponding to the dante the auxiliary uh, mix buses the 24 auxiliary mix buses to create uh, the two auxiliary bus and the uh, atonotomix and uh, you can purchase the full package this is perpetual license, so it's uh, you you buy uh, you purchase on you buy only one time, and uh, we have also a system where you can. Uh, it's easy for us and for you to test. Uh, we can send you uh, a free week for testing, uh, and uh, you you, uh, you can uh, uh, when you install, you have one week to to use it and to try it, and uh, so it's uh, and. For that, you just have to take contact with Pierre and uh, with your contact number and can send you just a, a quick key uh, to unlock all these features for one week. So it's if because it's, uh, for example, an auto, uh, an atom atomics needs to be uh, to be tested by yourself. It's not something it's interesting to test before to purchase. So uh, this is for for me that's all for the presentation <laughs> sorry for my french accent <laughs> and for him, for my poor vocabulary but i <laughs> hope that uh, it was a quick presentation of the v3 so now pierre can maybe explain or send uh, maybe add some details that i forgot I mean, no there's not much you you forgot <laughs> Uh, I just want to say on the uh, V3, uh, um, like public version, uh, there's also the MBO management of the uh, MBO uh, Sennheiser MBO mic. Uh, we're still working on the monitoring, though. Um, what can I say? Uh, all of these uh, uh, features uh, will also be available on the Cantar Mini. Uh, we actually were working on uh, on uh, putting that on the mini, but because of the uh, COVID-19, uh, we kind of uh, slow down on the uh, uh, development side. So uh, we'll, we'll hopefully pretty uh, soon get back on track and uh, be able to uh, to, in to offer that for the Qantar mini as well. And uh, Pascal, would you mind, can you close your screen share so we can see everybody all at once again? Uh, that is great. Thank you. And um, so the, a couple of questions uh, in the chat here. Um, so uh, Ken asks, can you copy uh, EQ and limiter settings from one channel to another or copy from a pre-ISO EQ to a post-ISO EQ? 
today it's possible to copy between uh, 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 between uh, only uh, pre EQ between pre EQ or between post EQ, but uh, uh, I think in a feature release you can copy from where you want to where you want. But to today you can only copy pre be between pre and pre and post and post. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as far as limiters, but it, are it can be changed in the future. And as far as limiters are, are concerned, there's no copy uh, whatsoever. Uh, our limiters is uh, we. There's no. How do you say in English? Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it's not your choice. Basically, the limiters is is embedded in the Cantar, and uh, uh, there's no copy from one limiter. Uh, you cannot preset your limiters, basically. And um, and just to be clear, and this is, has already been uh, answered in the chat, but um, the uh, Alejandro had a question as to whether or not the the Dante add-on the functionality is that a subscription purchase or one time? I believe you said it's a one time. Is that uh, no? Correct? All of the options are, are one time purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the the way it works uh, basically, it's it's linked to the serial number of the recorder. So when you purchase the uh, the options, you send us an email or you go on our website and, and log in. And, uh, and then uh, you have to give us the serial number of the recorder, mm -hmm. either to send you a, a, a permanent option, paid option, or even a demo option. Uh, you send us the serial number and we can send you a, a file by email that will unlock this option. Basically, all of the options are embedded in the in the version three. They're just locked, and so by sending you a license key, we unlock these options. So let's say if you were so you can purchase all three options at one at once, or you can purchase one option. And and if you decide like uh, I don't know uh, six months later to buy a second option, we will have to send you a new license key, which will uh, contain both options. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you purchase, let's say, Dante Plus today, I'll send you a, a license key with a Dante Plus option. And then if you purchase the uh, submix six months from now, uh, then I'll send you a Dante and a submix uh, you know, license in, in one uh, bundle. Mm -hmm. But it would so just be. Are... Oh, go ahead. Wait, they are permanent and they are They're linked uh, to, to your equipment. And, and so it, obviously every improvement that we will uh, bring to the recorder uh, will uh, will serve both version if you want. Uh, if, if we have new improvement, so some of the improvement may affect the free part of the of the firmware, but it also will, you know, um, uh, it, it's uh, when we send a, 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 when we will send a new release, it basically will upgrade your recorder, be it with the option or without. Got it. And um, so uh, Ted Demel, who makes some really great accessories for the Cantar, um, had a question about uh, being able to manage two Ambios uh, and decoding them in the X3 at the same time. Is that uh, is that correct? Yes, uh -huh. it's possible. Yeah, that you is have correct. two. Uh, you have two uh, Ambio engine in the, in the X3, so you can manage up to two mics uh, simultaneously. So, so which could... means that you can link. You know, also, yeah, you have two two uh, two mic, and you can link uh, two sets of four for uh, inputs. Uh, mic input. I can quickly uh, show you the Ambio. Uh, great. Option if you want to sounds uh sounds great this is not an option in fact this is just a function sorry <laughs> yes it is part of the version three so if i go here so for, first of all when, when when i want to use an obeo mic the first thing is i need to link the four uh, mics that are included into the into into the ambio. The, it's very important when when you you made a, 
uh, 3D capture, audio capture, it's very important to have exactly the same level on uh, the four mics that uh, if it's not the case, uh, you will lose your 3D effect and uh, the 3D effect you can add in the post after. So first I have to go uh, in the link and uh, I have to declare. So for example, here I have mic five, six, seven and eight that are linked together. Of course, I have to connect my uh, ambio mic on uh, inputs five, uh, six, seven and eight. And uh, now if I press shift, okay, sorry. <laughs> I can, I find back on the, on the first line, I, I find back my four mics and uh, they remind me that uh, I have to connect the, the yellow one to mic five, etc. So this is uh, the, I can choose also the, the format because I can decode. Uh, there are an embedded decoder, Ambeo, um, Ambisonic decoder dedicated to Ambeo. So I can decode as uh, Ambix or Fuma, there are some uh, few dif small differences. And uh, also I can put into the metadata the way the, the position of the mic, if it's up, down or uh, upright. And uh, the last parameter, it's the filter. So we, we have an Ambeo uh, uh, engine inside, so you can enable the filter to have exactly the 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 w the, the decoding the b format exactly decoded as uh sonizer uh, uh it, it has been checked by sonizer for the quality but if you are using if you are not using an ambeo uh, mic but maybe another ambisonic mic in that case you have the capability to disable this filter these filters that are dedicated to uh, to uh, sonizer uh, of course, the W, X, Y, Z, the, the B format won't be uh, uh, the highest quality, but it will be enough for you to, to monitor. This, and uh, you have two uh, engines like that into the Kanta. You have uh, two Ambeo engines inside the Kanta. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so... Uh, you know, while we, sorry, hang on here. Uh, so we'll give uh, a couple minutes just to see if there are any more questions in the in the feed. Um, I will ask, uh, what have you been doing for for food? Are you cooking a lot? Or are you doing a lot of takeout? What is your? How are you guys passing the time? So I guess it depends where you live. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, I live like uh, what. 10, 10, 10 miles, no, eight miles, <laughs> 12 kilometers, just something like that, uh, from, from the city. So, so takeout is not really an option for me. But I've had time to, to start to plant some like tomatoes in the garden and things mm -hmm. like this. So hopefully by, by within three months, I will have some tomatoes, but, but no. <laughs> So uh, no, so so taking out was not an option for me. But Pascal lived in the city, so I guess that's uh, that's easier for him. Mm. You know? Yeah. No, uh, um, the way it, it worked uh, for the lockdown, basically we were allowed to go uh, outside for like um, uh, I don't know something uh, like maybe half an hour or an hour. And we had to sign a paper and uh, to, we had to carry our passport with us uh, with, a, with a paper stating that what we were doing. I mean, there were different cases, you know, uh, going to the doctor, going to shop or whatever, and put the time. So if you were controlled by the police, they would check, you know, oh, you left two hours ago, it's time to go back home. Uh, basically, so but we we could go out and and pick up food and uh, and obviously in, in shops you had to stay away from people and you still have to stay away like mm -hmm. you know uh, few 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 feet from from people. So, so uh, yeah. So so what's for dinner tonight? Oh, it's done. I have oh, <laughs> There you go. That's right. I forgot. It's it's ten there now. 
Yeah, I'm ready for my uh, yes, time or herb tea, you know, uh, sleeping time. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we, we've got one more question here. Uh, and this is from, uh, Michael. Are all four of the auto mix groups always routed to the left and right bus? Uh, or can you use it for a subgroup without affecting the left and right bus, such as a discrete output mix? Uh, is my mic open? Yes, my mic mm -hmm. is open. You yep. Hear yep. Uh, so you can assign where you want. So you can decide uh, to assign to the right, to the left. It's up to you. There is no dedicated things. So you can uh, assign to left, right, or exactly where you want. It's mm -hmm. it's linked to the track where you send it. So it's it's not dedicated. Great. Okay. Um, well, I think... Flexible. <laughs> Perfect. Flexible. Flexible. That's the, the word of the day. Uh, okay, great. So thank you so much for uh, for staying up and uh, and being able to be here with us um, in New York. And it's always great to see, um, you know, it's always great to see faces I haven't seen for a while. The same here. Yes, it was nice uh, to see me. you and, uh, and to invite us. Uh, thank you very much. Of course. Thank um, you for inviting us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so let's keep in touch as you guys, um, you know, as, as more and more things come out and hopefully we'll be seeing each other in person um, sooner rather than later. When was the last time we were uh, at your play? It was like uh, AES in September, October? I think uh, it was, yeah, I remember it was really cold and windy and um, and now it's not cold and windy. So, you know, hopefully. <laughs> it is rainy right now. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we'll get together in person soon. But if not, we can do more things like this. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Uh, and uh, people on Facebook are saying uh, merci Pascal et Pierre. So merci. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. Merci à vous. Thank you. <laughs> De rien. Uh, all right. So I'll wrap us up now. Uh, so give me just a second to change that. Um, so thank you so much for watching. You can watch this video and more at the Gotham Sound Archives at gothamsound.tv. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all of the latest news. And uh, you can send ideas or questions to info at gothamsound.com and uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, thank you again and uh, a bientôt. A bientôt. Bye-bye.